in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke, chapter 24, verses 13 through 35. On that same day, two of them were going to a village called Emmaus, about seven miles from Jerusalem, and talking with each other about all the things that had happened. While they were talking and discussing, Jesus himself came near and went with them, but their eyes were kept from recognizing him. And he said to them, What are you discussing with each other while you walk along? They stood still, looking sad. Then one of them, whose name was Cleopas, answered him, Are you the only stranger in Jerusalem who does not know the things that have taken place there in these days? He asked them, What things? They replied, The things about Jesus of Nazareth, who was a prophet, mighty indeed, and word, before God and all the people, and how our chief priests and leaders handed him over to be condemned to death and crucified him. But we had hoped that he was the one to redeem Israel. Yes, and was besides, all this, it, it is now the third day since these things took place. Moreover, some women of our group astounded us. They were at the tomb early this morning, and when they did not find his body there, they came back and told us that they had indeed seen a vision of angels who said that he was alive. Some of those who were with us went to the tomb and found it just as the women had said. But they did not see him. Then he said to them, Oh, how foolish you are, and how slow of heart to believe all that the prophets have declared. Was it not necessary that the Messiah should suffer these things and then enter into his glory? Then, beginning with Moses and all the prophets, he interpreted to them the things about himself in all the scriptures. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear friends in Christ, on this Wednesday, the octave of Easter, reflect with me and their eyes were opened. It is quite revealing to know that there are levels or types of eyes being opened. The physical eyes sees a lot, but more than a lot are invisible to physical eyes. Perception goes deeper than sensation. Those who live on the level of the senses are shallow and miss a lot of realities. The disciples' eyes were opened and the same eyes that saw nothing saw something. This is what happens when we encounter the power of God. We are still the same people but with higher perception and deeper insight. Lack of enlightenment can make us unnecessarily angry, worried and frustrated. We feel bad disappointed, stuck, confused, and worried simply because we are either blind or short-sighted. When Jesus opened the eyes of the disciples on the way to Emmaus, their frustrations, fears, and confusions were turned into joy and gladness. They even had to end their journey and went back instantly to Jerusalem. The servant of Elisha was afraid of the soldiers surrounding them simply because he couldn't see the hosts of angels on the other side. Enlightenment brings confidence, happiness, power, courage and fulfillment. We must seek to be enlightened by the Lord, especially in the Eucharist. We must seek Him with the eyes of faith. It is the eyes of our minds that needs enlightenment, not the flesh. Happy is one enlightened by Jesus. As we continue to put our trust in the Lord at the breaking of the bread and his word, may he continue to open our eyes and fill us with the joy and power of his presence. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the gift of your divine resurrection. We pray you, Almighty God and Father, to open our spiritual eyes to encounter you in words and sacraments. As we appreciate your divine presence in our world, continue to open our hearts to the breaking of the bread and the breaking of the world. 
We pray that as you enlighten us, we shall take advantage of your divine presence to deal with the so many situations we find ourselves. Do not abandon us, do not forsake us, and do not fail us, especially in those critical moments where we have abandoned you on our way to our different MROs. On our way to MROs because of fear, pain, and pandemic situations, we pray that you will come into our life to break your divine presence and word within us. Give us the courage to withstand every situation and problems that we go through. May we overcome them so that we can always get to connect to you with the spiritual eyes. Help us in every situation to conquer our problems through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.